I want to know if this setup will work, and if so, what's the best way to pipe it? The sump tank will be down halfway in the ground. I plan to do catfish and tilapia. Will I need two pumps, or will one be enough? The School of Aquaponics. So George, we're here to help you out. We got your blueprint here in front of us, um, and we're getting ready to put some uh, pieces to this puzzle together. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is called a, a bald schematic. This is what I call a ball-headed schematic because we don't have any plumbing. It's just pretty much, you know, George needs help with pretty much the, the, the foundation of the plumbing. So that's what we're going to help out with today. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of this ball-headed schematic. Um, and then so you can get the gist on what we're looking at right here. So we have the sump tank. Then after that, we have the media bed and then an NFT system. And then we have a fish tank, which is connected to a swirl filter and then connected to a biological filter. That's what we have on the top. And it's pretty much a reflection or a, a mirror of it on the bottom. Same exact thing. We have the NFT system. We have a media bed, fish tank, swirl filter, bio filter. So let's get to plumbing. This is what we want to do. We need to plumb this thing together so we can get it running. So we can start with um, the sump tank. We can start, we already have the, the pump right there. So that's the first thing we're gonna start with is our pump inside the sump. And then from there, we're gonna come up and we're gonna run a pipe all the way across, all the way across, past the media bed, past the NFT, all the way down to the fish tank. We're gonna run this pipe all the way across. And what we're getting ready to do, ladies and gentlemen, it might cause a lot of you out there to have a nightmare. I'm telling you right now, the next step might cause people to have a nightmare. So I'm giving that as a disclaimer right now to some of you guys out there who are super scared of the split flow. Because right now we're getting ready to do the super split flow, super split flow. So what we're going to do is this media bed right here, we're going to, in that pipe that we just ran all the way across, cut it with um, PVC pipe or uh, however you're going to cut it, however large the diameter pipe is, put a T on it, it's connecting up, put a ball valve on it. We have it connecting to our media bed. We got super control. Boom, move over to the NFT system, uh, cut the pipe, put a T on there, uh, pipe it up, ball valve on it. We're connected to our NFT system. All the way down to the fish tank, what are we doing? We can put in, you, you won't have, need to put a T on this. You can just put an elbow on it. Um, uh, and then however far it is, you can run pipe to however far uh, away that fish tank is. And you can connect it up to the top of the fish tank, put a ball valve on it. You have super control now of all of these components in this system. And then from that fish tank, that water is going to run down. It's going to connect to the swirl filter, going to go to the biological filter. And then from there, we'll connect our, this is where we'll connect our, um, our return pipe. We'll run a return pipe all the way across. And um, each one of the components can connect to the return pipe, or you can have them uh, separate, however you want to do it. But if you have the, 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 the room to make it the most efficient, we'll connect all of them to this return pipe and they'll go right back to the sump tank. Boom, so now we're finished with that. So now we can do the same thing to the other side. Other side is no different, but we come back to the sump tank um, and then our pump, we're gonna come up, boom, the legendary split flow. This is where this happens. See, there's many ways to split the flow. You don't have to just come up and then split it right here. There's other ways to split it, but in, in this occasion, we have to split the flow this way as well in order to get to the other side. So we'll just run the pipe uh, down towards the, um, uh, the sides of the greenhouse. That'll connect um, inside to the NFT. Um, and then we'll run the pipe all the way down. Um, and then we can connect it to the media bed, uh, connect it to the fish tank. Um, that'll go to the swirl filter, the bio filter. And then we'll have another return line here. We'll just put another return line, um, one, one large return pipe um, that's going to connect all the way back to the sump tank, and that'll run us the system right here. So this is a good example of the of, of the multiple options you have when splitting flow, because the other ones that we were doing in the previous videos were all just basic split flows. I didn't want to confuse, but I didn't want to confuse anyone. But I feel like we can we've graduated a little bit more, so now we can start doing a little bit extra, a little bit more super advanced split flowing options. Now this is a perfect example on why a split flow would work so well. So say if we have Say if we connected all of these together and we did like uh, the, the system that all, most people who be uh, beginners put together um, where you have everything just gravity fed one after another. The media bed gravity feeds to the NFT, the NFT gravity, gravity feeds back to this media bed, the media bed back to the NFT, the NF NFT back to the sump. What if we just did it that way and say if we had a problem here in the media bed and you can expect something like this to happen, some type of leak or something, especially when you're just getting started, you can expect to make some mistakes. So if we had, if we had a problem in the media bed, maybe your bell siphon didn't didn't go off, and your 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 um bed is just overflowing. 
something maybe just something happened. So we need to cut the we need to stop flow going to this media bed. What happens when we stop the flow to this media bed? Everything else behind it doesn't get any flow. Nothing else gets flow. Nothing else. So that means your plants in the FT, they're gonna die. Plants in the other media bed, die. NFT other one, die. So this is the issue. Now if we can just cut off the ball valve and cut the flow, since we split the flow, we cut the ball valve to this media bed, we still have uh, flow going to the NFT. We still have flow going to the fish tank. We still have flow going to everything else. Everything else still has flow. And only thing that's out of commission is this media bed. So this is another good lesson on why we split the flow, why we split the flow. So it's nothing to be terrified. I'm telling you, this stuff is super easy. Once you just get in the right mindset, it's just super easy. It's super easy. So this is basically George, how we would help you out. Um, you can make any type of small adjustments to it, but this is how um, I would put this thing together. So um, hopefully you're able to take this and get something out of it. And soon you'll be growing fish and vegetables and one day you'll become an aquaponic god. <laughs>